Hi friends, today I want to show you how we can add numbers together. And all adding numbers together means is we're putting one number together with another number so we can find out how many they are all together. So if you have some bead bars like this, then that's great. If you don't have bead bars, I'll show you later a different way that you can do this, which is really easy as well. So we are going to take any one that we want. This is one, two, three, four. And I'm going to go ahead over here. You don't have to write your numbers down, but if you can write your numbers and you want to, you can go ahead and write four. And four is our first number we chose here today. Our second number going to be this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have four plus six. Let's write our number six down so we don't forget. Six. Okay. This is our symbol that we use for adding together. It's called a plus sign or an addition sign. And it just means that we're putting this number and this number together to find out how much they make together. Now, how would we do that? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So if we count them together, we get 10. So four plus six equals 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. This is 10. There, we just added. Isn't that pretty awesome? This number means equals. It means there's the same on this side as there is on this side. So if you put a line here, there's 10 beads over there, even though they're separated, and there's 10 beads over there. They're the same, okay? So that's our equal sign, plus sign, equal sign. And we can go back to our paper if you've been writing and go ahead over here and write 10 because we know now that when we had four and we added six we counted them all together it made 10 okay so let's try another one and this time i'm going to show you what you can do if you don't have these pretty little montessori beads okay so down here i have my pile of just jewelry beads that i found you can use things like this you could use dried beans, you can use small rocks that you found outside, anything you have to count. And you'll notice they're all different. Um, so it doesn't really matter that they're different. It's nice if they're all the same, but you know, you gotta work with what you have, right? So we're taking our plus sign down here, our equal sign here, okay? And we'll come here and I'll just take maybe a handful. I don't even know how many there are. Hmm, let's find out, okay? Let's see, we'll put them in a row so I don't mix up my counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This time I have seven. All right, well, let's go back over here and write down seven. Okay, how many are we gonna add to seven? Let's find some beads down here. Again, I could just grab however many and we'll find out. One, two, three, four, five. Huh, okay, so we have seven we're going to add five. Over here. Five. Well, how many do they equal when we put them together? I wonder. Well, let's count and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So all together, seven plus five equals 
12. And then we have to go over here and count out 12. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so move these out of the way, and twelve. Wow, that's a lot altogether. So we know five plus, sorry, seven plus five equals 12. And again, the equals means that this, if all those beads, we have just as many beads on this side. It's the same, right? It equals 12. There's 12 here and there's 12 there. Okay, and Let's see, if we did have our bead bars, we would make 12 like this because we know this is 110 and this is two units. And when we write 12, let's go over here, you'll see we have one in our 10 side. There's not two tens, right? There's only one 10 and two in our unit side, okay? And so that is how you can add things together at home. All right, see you next time, friends. Bye.